I want to talk about, I want to bring up some images that we were looking at from Lebanon where this all started. But here's the catch. These people are not actually burning the ISIS flag. Instead, the flag reads, there is no God of terrorism. Now, the main line on the ISIS flag reads, there is no God but Allah. So, Arslan, what is the significance of this difference in the flag that those Lebanese people are burning and the ISIS flag? Well, yes, I mean, uh, the, the original ISIS flag has the Islamic Declaration of Faith, which says that there is no God but God. Uh, it is the central Islamic creed for Muslims worldwide. It's similar to, you know, a flag that would say Christ is King for Christians. And so, essentially, uh, what a lot of people are doing in this uh, burn the ISIS flag challenge is they're changing it so that it doesn't desecrate uh, an Islamic holy symbol, but it actually desecrates ISIS and the message of ISIS. And I think what's really important for your viewers to keep in mind is that, you know, for, for decades, you know, we've seen images of, you know, Muslims and Arabs in the Middle East burning the American flag, and that's sort of an image that has been seared into our heads. But it's important for Americans to also know that Muslims on the street, you know, categorically condemn ISIS, and so they're trying to use that same methodology of burning a flag so to push back against this narrative that, you know, it's a clash of civilizations, West versus Islam, that, that we Muslims are as opposed to ISIS as anyone else. Arsalan, I want to read you some tweets, because this has got a lot of people fired up online. So um, Sebastian Usher says, admire the sentiment, but is hashtag burn the ISIS flag challenge the most self-defeating campaign ever, playing into ISIS hands by burning Shahada? Um, and they're referring to uh, the statement that's, that's read on the ISIS flag. And then uh, someone else says, for those who complain about hashtag burn the ISIS flag challenge, I understand, but you know what's more insulting to Allah and Prophet, killing in their name. So a lot of people are fired up. You know, it's two sides of the issue. Some people support it, some people don't. So what is hashtag burn the ISIS challenge, you know, flag challenge going to accomplish ultimately? Well, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's average Muslims on the street, you know, from Tehran to Saudi Arabia to Pakistan to the United States, essentially helping to reclaim our narrative on social media. You know, uh, you know, these people, you know, can go out there and fight ISIS themselves. And so what they're trying to do is they're trying to push back against the narrative that somehow Islam is intrinsically linked to violence or extremism by saying that we Muslims condemn terrorism so much so that we want to symbolically burn this flag of ISIS. And I understand that sentiment. And again, I think it, it, it helps to show average Americans and average Westerners on the street that, again, not only have the number one victims of ISIS been Muslims themselves, the vast majority of people killed by ISIS have been Muslims, but that we are, again, as opposed to terrorism as anybody else around the world. Arsalan, I have one more question for you. Is it okay, I think a lot of people are concerned about the fact that is it okay as, a, as someone who's non-Muslim to burn this ISIS flag and, and saying that we don't agree with what ISIS is doing? Should they feel well, you comfortable know, again, it, it's that? all about the. You know, uh, Yasmin, it's, it's all about the intention of the people. You know, I, I've seen a few uh, people who have said, you know, not only let's kill ISIS, but let's kill Islam and Muslims. So, I mean, again, you know, you're going to have a few outliers there. I think ultimately the, the sentiment is an anti-ISIS message. It's a message against extremism, against violence, against terrorism. And I think that's why it's important for Muslims to, you know, reclaim this message because it's, it's people speaking on, trying to speak on behalf of our name and our religion to say that we will not have terrorism committed in our name.